Hello and welcome to part two of my electric longboard build. Um, so it was took a while. It took a lot longer than I expected to make. And uh, also, first thing I'm going to say, it's not the best video I've ever made. I uh, didn't take enough videos and pictures while I was actually building it. So I put everything I had onto this video and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So first off, um, the motor needed mounting to the truck, so that's the Turnergy SK3, 213 kilovolts, and uh, fitted to that is a um, a motor mount which is water jet machined out of aluminium, and this is what actually fits onto the truck. So this is the battery box I made. It was uh, made out of three mil aluminium, uh, which was marked and cut out and then bent into shape and on that I put some carbon fibre vinyl and some steel mesh at each end for good airflow. The motor mount is now fixed onto the truck. This uh, allows the motor to turn along with the board um, so the belt doesn't slip off. And uh, So first I'm installing the wires through a hole, cut out hole in the aluminium box and then connecting the three ESC output wires to it. And on the back of everything I put in here I uh, just secured it with double sided foam to uh, give it a bit of shock absorption and obviously keep everything in place. Uh, so this is a um, K series high voltage ESC from Turnergy. It's uh, 120 amps and supports up to 12 cells of LiPo batteries. So there I'm just installing the receiver for the um, Flysky GT3B. Uh, this is what, it's, it's a wireless transmitter and receiver and this will what actually controls the speed of the board. And then there's a the battery pack there as well. So the um, two and four cell LiPo packs are wired in series which is using a just a simple bridge from positive to negative doesn't matter which way around and um, they are 14.8 volts each pack and in series that's 29.6 volts so um, that should be more than enough power for climbing hills which is what I really wanted it for but uh, all in all they're only 5000 milliamps and uh, you have to wire another two in, in parallel to get any more range so that's it all fitted and the drive pulleys had to be modified as you can see there this is what actually fits on and drives the wheel and that's what the finished board looks like hopefully I'll uh, be able to get some footage of it running sometime in the near future and if you have any questions you can send me a message and there's uh, more details on each process and more pictures on my website and uh, I'll put a link to that in the description so thanks for watching and see you in the next video